Some call it a one-horse town, some call it rural. I've called it my only home since I was a tiny girl. To me, it is perfect, the best place in this world. Many of my classmates could not wait to escape. I don't know what they were searching for. Me? I made the choice to stay. I just couldn't walk away. You wonder what holds me here? I'll try my best to make it clear. Our church bells still ring. Our flags fly unfurled. Let your eyes come with me, and I'll give you a quick tour. On the right as you arrive, an old farmhouse is standing there. Once, it was a grand show place. Now, it sits in constant disrepair. The owner has done his best. It's not like he doesn't care. It's hard to do an extensive rehab when you don't have money to spare. On around the curve, you'll see the old nursing home's gravesite. Once, it was a safe shelter for the loved ones in our lives. It was beautiful, new, and bright. But... It's been closed a long, long time. It's just sitting there, lifeless and dilapidated. It's a sad, ugly sight. There is nothing left but blight. Let's head on down the main street, to our one and only traffic light. We will stop, patiently wait our turn, then we'll make a right. Here, you'll see that huge old building with all the crumbling stone. It has seen a lot through the years as a diverse mix of tenants would come and quickly go. It was an antique mall, a hardware, a malt shop, and a thriving retail and department store. Now it's just another eyesore. It deserves so much more. On the south end of town, there is an empty grocery store. They fought a good battle with the food chains, but finally lost the war. It was open seven days a week for almost 50 years. Recently, they had to close their doors. We have McDonald's and a Dollar General, as most small towns do. Just past both of them, another building sits in ruins. The old man that owned it was one of the best I ever knew. While our buildings are decaying, our people are standing strong. We are hardworking and compassionate we know right from wrong. We help our friends, our broken neighbors, and even total strangers. We are built on a solid foundation. Our way of life will carry on. So it's sad to think that our architectural history may soon be gone. That the treasures of our quaint community could be forever lost for this simple reason. Rehabilitation is expensive, and we can't afford the cost. Stockbridge's preservation of community is unsurpassed. We just need a hand up in preserving our buildings and our structures. We are a committed community where our buildings and our people stay. Come make a permanent difference. Come check us out. <laughs>